Bledsoe and go back over to Val. That's now Amanda Paradis, senior on this team, will get set to serve it up. Nice play on the outside, just tipped across and down by Lucy O'Keefe. And back to serve for Augusta is Judine Opingo, also a senior for Augusta. And Augusta got it back off one hit on the return for Valley Escape. Now to the outside it goes, and that hit out of bounds by Kaylee Strauderman. Make it a 4-1 lead for Augusta. Serve here is another ace, and now 5-1. Let's play back to the middle of the floor, and now sent across there by Kirsten Kennedy, and Augusta will play it back over off the hand of Emery Howe. Now once again, the Eagles with it. Back to the middle. This just bumped across. A nice dig out of the middle of the net for Kennedy. Back to the near side. And, boy, nice hustle play along the back line by Paradis to keep that alive. Back row. That sent out of bounds by Julia Chase. And a five. Into the lineup for Valley Escape comes Lauren Harvey. And Sarah Stiles with the serve. Track down back to the middle. And that's bumped over there by Grace Alexander. Augusta should have a pretty good opportunity here. Set to the outside. That hit out of bounds by Alexander. Make it a 5-3 lead for Augusta. And Styles with the serve. And that just set over and returned immediately. So the Eagles with it again. Over there by Maudlin. And to the middle, that hit was partially blocked up front. Off the shot from O'Keefe. The Eagles will try it again here to the back line this time. But sent over by Chase. And that hit just out of bounds by Kaylee Strauderman. Make it 6-3, Augusta. Here in set one, two individual sets to 25. This is all pool play today. That ricochets off the ceiling, end up falling in for an ace. Makes it now a 7-3 lead. Well, that's a really nice serve from Lucy O'Keefe. Not a jump serve or anything, but good angle and good speed as well. So another ace makes it 8-3, and that one hit into the net. So I'll make it 8-4. Strauderman will get set to serve here for Valley Escape. Valley Escape off or out of uh, Summit Point, West Virginia. And we have, looks like a rotation error on Valley Escape, and we have a timeout. They're going to try to figure out exactly what's going on there. 9-4, the lead for Augusta. Back with more of set one in a moment from the NACA. Educating students. Educating students. To become servants of Christ. Servants of Christ. Para llegar a ser servidores de Cristo. To make a difference in today's world. A faire une différence dans le monde aujourd'hui. 
um einen Unterschied in der heutigen Welt zu machen. Make it now twelve four. I think they've got it corrected here, at least it looks like they do. And that hit out of bounds. So the service error makes it 12-5. Valley escaped to serve. This is Kirsten Kennedy. 5-7 freshman for Valley escape. It's playing in that back line and set across and down off a really nice play by Lucy O'Keefe just instead of Hammer, or excuse me, not that O'Keefe, that's uh, Malden, as she kind of adjusted a little bit, tipped it over. Surf here played by uh, Valley Escape, they'll set it to the far side and tipped up along that back line and now sent over by Malden. Trying to go back to the middle of the floor Put over there by Paradis. Now back line. That one is hit that time around. It will fall in for O'Keefe. Make it 14-5. Serve here. Tracked down along that back line by Strauderman. Now put over. Gustus has set it. And that put across and down by Julia Chase. Make it 15-5. Surf here played back to the net and deflected in. So 16-5. Again, continuing to serve for Augusta is Grace Alexander, sophomore for the Eagles. And the service error there will make it 16-6. Serve here from Harvey. Set to the outside. And a good kill there from Julia Chase. Make it 17-6. Substitution here for Valley Escape as Hannah Carey checks in. Serve for Chase is another ace. That'll make it 18-6. It's another serve played. Now back to the middle of the floor. That hit out of bounds by Paradis. I'll make it 19-6. And a timeout to Valley Escape. I'll take you on as well. Back with more of set one in just a moment. You're watching the NACA.
All right, so serve out of that timeout. The flex off the ceiling, but stays on the right side of the floor, so we continue the point here. Back to the middle, and a good kill that time for Amanda Paradis. Now 19-7, the lead for Augusta. So good kill on that far side by Kaylee Strauderman. Makes it 19-8. Valley Escape trying to work their way back into set one here. So far, it's been dominated by the Eagles. Up front, that tipped across and down by Upingo. And this serve... Play now into the back line, and we have two hits on Valley Escape. That'll make it 21-8. So Augusta to serve. Augusta out of Appling, Georgia. As we have Georgia and West Virginia here this morning. In that back line, that's just set across. Now back to the outside. Put over there by Strauderman. How the Eagles with it. Was that tip? Nope. Just went off the top of the net. Off the hit by Malden. Make it 21-9. Substitution for finally escape. Kirsten Kennedy checks in. So the senior Paradis with the serve. Augusta to play it to the far side. And good dig on that back line. Again by Paradis. Now the Eagles go to that back row. And that kill will count for Julia Chase, making now 22 9. And that serve into the net by Pingo. 22-10. Substitution again for Valley Escape is Lauren Harvey back into the lineup. Surf here playing into that back row. It's across there by Malden. Now set to the near side. And sent over by O'Keefe, and finally deflected out of bounds. It'll be 22 11. And that's an ace. Nice serve that time around from Sarah Stiles. 22-12. Styles again, that one four or five feet deep, so serve will go out of bounds. The arrow make it 23-12, and Lucy O'Keefe to serve here for the Eagles. And that's out. So back-to-back -back service errors makes it 23-13. Back over to Valley Escape we go and Keeley Strauderman. Play back to the far side. That hit out of bounds by Malden. Now 23-14. Strauderman's serve, played across. Oh, a really nice spot picked on that time by Kirsten Kennedy. Just kind of looked across, and there was nobody in that back corner, so she just set it across to that spot, 23-15. Strauderman's 
Jump serve here is an ace. 23-16. A little bit of a run here for Valley Escape. They had themselves in such a big hole, though. I don't know if they can get all the way back out of that or not. It's tipped across. Now an opportunity for Valley Escape is they'll just put it over. Middle of the floor, a nice dig on that back line by Strauderman, and it eventually it falls in, though, off the hit from Julia Chase for Augusta, and now we're at set point at 24-16. Surf here from Malden is an ace, and that'll do it for set one, 25-16. The final is... The Eagles defeat Valley Escape. We'll take a break. We'll come back with set two here in just a moment. You're watching the NACA National Tournament. So back for set two, again, individual sets to 25. That hit out of bounds, so a one nothing lead here for Valley Escape. As we stay kind of in the same group for the first four matches here today. Set back to the near side. That hit into the net by O'Keefe will make it a 2 nothing lead for Valley Escape. 
Speaking of which, uh, at 11 o'clock Eastern time today, Lancaster and Augusta. So Augusta will play back-to-back -back here. As now Valley escaped to play it up front. That was deflected off the top of the net. And now set across and down by Kelsey Malden. A 2-1 lead for Valley Escape. And Judine Upinko to serve for the Eagles. And we've got a double hit on Valley Escape. So all tied up at two. First of three days here from Fort Bluff Camp. This is just pool play day. We'll get to actual brackets and all that good stuff tomorrow. The set in the middle, that's deflected up front off the hit by O'Keefe, and it eventually goes out of bounds. So Augusta leads it 3-2. So if you're not played into the net, then just sent over. And near side, that clipped the top of the net as well to the far side. And there's a good kill from Malden off a really nice set from the near side. Get now a 4-2 lead for the Eagles. Set back up front and now put across to the outside. Malden again, and that's set too close to the net. Make it a 4-3 lead for Augusta. And Stronerman to serve for Valley Escape. Play back to the middle, and that put across by Malden again. Set back in the near side, and that hit into the net by Rachel Paget. All tied up at four. If you're set back near side, no. Finally escape again, set to the middle. This is Kennedy, and that was deflected up front. Now to the outside, Malden again, and that will eventually fall in for a kill, making it a 5-4 lead for Augusta. And now Lucy O'Keefe to serve. This played into the net, and an ace for O'Keefe. Make it six five or excuse me, six four. And again, O'Keefe's serve is out of bounds. So the service error will make it six five. And Kirsten Kennedy will get set to serve now for Valley Escape. Set back to the near side to Malden, and she'll get a kill out of that. So now a 7-5 lead, and Kelsey will get set to serve. And a substitution for Valley Escape, Chloe Villa checks in for the first time today. And an ace served up by Malden. It rolled over the top of the net. Making an 8-5 lead. And that probably should have been a double hit, but doesn't matter anyway because it still falls in and it's now a 9-5 lead. Malden with the serve. Boy, nice play out of the net on the far side by Harvey. Now back row. That's dug out. Back up front and put into the net by Styles. Make it 10-5, Eagles. 
and a timeout to Valley Escape. Be back here in just a moment. You're watching the NACA tournament. Can one choice change a life? When it's a big choice like choosing a college, it's safe to say yes. Put yourself in the shoes of a new student. You want teachers you can really learn from. Classes you look forward to. Friends who share your faith. And times you won't forget. But more than that, you want a college that prepares you to serve God with your life. So back to us here, Augusta to lay it in the middle, and that put across and down for another kill and an 11-5 lead for the Eagles. So Kelsey Malden to serve again. That's actually a nice play off that back line by Kennedy to just get that back up to the middle of the floor. A 12-5 lead. That's played by Kennedy and now eventually put back across by Strotterman. Near side that put across and down for another kill this time for Rachel Padgett. 13-5 the lead here for Augusta. Malden's serve is an ace. Make it 14-5. Play back near side. Put across there by Paradis. Now Malden will put it across herself, and that will... Eventually fall in for a 15-5 lead for the Eagles. And that serve sails out of bounds. So that'll make it 15-6. Lauren Harvey will get set to serve here for Valley Escape. And that is in along that back line. Good kill there for uh, Jolie Burdett. Back in for Valley Escape is Hannah Carey. And back to serve for Augusta is Rachel Padgett. There is an ace. Make it now 17-6. And another ace, 18-6. Service air hero make it 18-7. Chloe Kennedy, a senior for Valley Escape, will get set to serve now. As they try to Figure out a way to get back into this set. There's a, another service error, and that'll make it 19-7. Set back to the middle, and that hit into the net by Paradis. Now a 20 to 7 lead. Again, these are individual sets to 25 here in pool play. It's not best of three. Each set uh, counts towards your overall record. And that's how they determine what division you end up in 
for Friday and Saturday as a substitution here. Kirsten Kennedy back in for Valley Escape and Amanda Paradas to serve. Play back to the middle. Malden with another kill as Kelsey gets credit there. So 21 8. And that will eventually fall in as well. So now 22 8 is the lead for the Eagles. Another ace, make it 23-8. Surf here played back up front, tipped across, and eventually gets sent over. Lupinko with it, back to the near side. And I'm going to say that was tipped up front. So that kill will make it 24-8, and we're up to... Set point here in set number two. Yes, we'll continue here. Upinko back to the near side. That hit out of bounds. Make it 24-9. And Lauren Harvey back in for Valley Escape. Surf here is an ace. Make it 24-10. And once again, Sarah Stiles to serve. And another ace. Make it 24-11. Nice play by Malden on that far side. Now sent over and Pally escaped to play it back to the middle. It's just set over. Malden to try to finish it here, and she will. So that kill would make it 25-11, the final here in set two. As the Eagles from Augusta take both sets. Up next here in group play, as we kind of continue things along here from opening day here on Wednesday, Lancaster and Augusta. That will happen at 11 o'clock, more or less, Eastern time. So we'll take a break. We'll come back with that in just a little bit. You're watching the NACA National Tournament. 